Okay, so a new match, Rainbow Man. Yes, new match. This time with the Headhunters. Mm. I'm not going to try pronouncing most of the names, but yeah, screw it. I'm going to try anyways. Hebron, Kyle, Yago, and Zorik. Zorik. Yeah, yeah, them. So. Okay. Got a small pause request here because one of the guys their ping is really high. They're Whoa. 600 actually. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. This ping, GG. You know, usually whenever I have high ping, I always play support because hopefully something hits. I can never play sharp with high ping because that just ruins everything. Yeah, commando and sharp are definitely one of those precision perks. <laughs> no precision. You have, be, you have to be on point, and also sharp is a real pressure perk as well. Huh? People expect you to uh, perform. take certain things uh, down. Yeah, perform, take certain yeah. things down, certain roll. Yeah, but they have a similar uh, comp as the last team that played the specials, uh, except for one change, which is one support is now a demo. So we are mm. going to get to see how well it would do co in comparison with this setup, as opposed to well, oppose one demo change stuff. What the? Yeah. So um, I hope to get it fixed. This is a uh, constant there to pause time. Yeah. You, you sort of want to spare one or two minutes in case something really happens. Mm hmm. Still okay. You can go to four, three, four minutes this stage of the game. Especially with the shorter waves, you know, 6 to 11. Mm hmm. The last team didn't use any pauses at all, so. Yeah, went straight through it. Yeah. No uh, bio breaks necessary. <laughs> One hundred American servers and eight hundred here. Wow. So it's been a long day, and uh, yeah, we've been uh, seeing quite a few teams today. And Rainbow on the uh, Steam Lab map. Yeah. The bracket Steam A, and t yeah, and tomorrow we're gonna move to the Manor map <laughs> for the uh, for the other guys who are gonna play for bracket B. So oh. bracket B is uh, it's with six teams. Yep, six teams. And, four of, and the four of those are gonna move to that uh, quarterfinal. Sounds fun. And a fourth as well from this bracket, and then the eight, best eight are gonna pass uh, to the quarters, and mm -hmm. then gonna be next weekend, and uh, gonna be good. Yep. Well, they get to play Steam, not Steamland, Manor. I prefer Manor more than Steamland. Because who doesn't want a man? Actually, that's debatable. I would like an amusement park. Or. Actually, I want both. I want a man or an amusement park. Why can't I have both? I'm going to go for both. Alright, and they start back up again. And paused again. Still sitting at 600 ping. Hey, there we go. All right, back Let's in. Stop the timer. Okay. They're back at it. Okay. It's raining money. That's a little bit well, of a mishap. He's on four five hundred now, so that's a little bit better. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate he has to play with that high ping. It's gonna be a bit tricky, and especially with all the pauses there, they waste a little bit more trader time. But well, gotta do what you gotta do. So it looks like they're taking the same position as before, as the last team. Hmm. Well, I see his ping is lower 280, so that's a great win. Yeah. 15, no. Oh, the guy seems to be okay now. Oh, they're taking a different position. Ooh, this is going to be the um, the reverse side of where people are mostly camping. Yeah, that doesn't look... People used to camp at the other side of the wheel. Hmm. And... That's a really common spot, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm surprised to see them go for this spot. Well, it acts like a funnel right there, so all the shotgun shells will just hit everything. Yeah. Something, everything will get hit. I just wondering when things rush in, cause there's not much room for error here. 
no. But the advantage that, uh, you know, we just saw the Sharp Specialist play, mm -hmm. and they always had a sort of, you know, a little bit angled surface there, you know, a little bit uh. rampy. That's the better part of this, everything is nice and flat. <laughs> yeah, I always love playing flat ground and sharp and making things so much easier. Yeah. But never got good because of that, and that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. So I, looks like I suspect the uh, sharpshooter is going to be a little bit uh, the middleman, you know, yeah. when Scrake comes. Scrake. There has to be quite a bit of good communication to know where to, you know, when to call mm. the sharp and when not. Well, and the same for flash pounce as well. Yeah, they got a demo for flash pounce, so that should be a lot more damage compared to using grenades as a as a support specialist. Oh, well, here comes a Scrake. The sharp pinged him in the head. And he's blown away. Now their wave's about over. Nice finish by the support. Actually, scrape. the time is two and a half minutes. That's pretty yeah. quick. That actually was a little bit quicker than uh, the first round of the specialists. Oh, yes, yes. That, that's a strange combo. I've never seen that before. But it, it worked, it worked nonetheless. All right, let's see how much trader time they skip. I'm wondering, did the demo have an M2-2 yet? No, it still doesn't. Oh, there we go. He now has the M32. Okay, and... Looks like someone's still taking their time. And they saved 20, 28 seconds. Oh, yeah, well, we're about 30 seconds. Half minute isn't too bad. Yeah, pretty good. Considering they had, they took the whole trader time the first at the very start. So there's a flash pound right there. Oh, a lot of needs there. Yeah, and followed by a scrake. Scrake's down. That's a great thing. We haven't seen that too much. Uh, Zordak is sort of crouching. Yeah. So Sharpshooter can aim better. That's a really good thing. A lot of people in game I played with don't crouch. <laughs> I, in fact, I forget I can crouch in games a lot of times, but with a sharp there, he needs a good line of sight to be able to hit stuff, otherwise, well... Oh, oh that almost cost the demo his life. <laughs> oh. Well, he's still fine. If he was a support instead of a demo, he might be a bit better off because of his cramped space. Hmm. If they were placed on top of the circus pathway like last time, then the demo might actually be a bit better than the support. But let's find out how how Ooh, well they. A, whoa! That was a nasty hush shot there, and a flesh yeah. pound. Yeah, and a flesh pound. Oh, this is gonna oh. get a kill. Yeah, okay, there's one, one down. Thirty seconds. That's still Two okay, down. <laughs> this is a restart. I don't know. Are you going to restart? Oh, free. Ooh, we still got out of it. So that took about a minute and a half more if uh, Yaga survives. Well, it's pretty good because they, they saved their restart. So, you mm. know, there's still one chance to fix that mistake if they have one. Yeah. But, yeah, it looks like they'll be fine. It's better than a whole team wiping, that's for sure. Absolutely. So, sing at 8 minutes at wave 7. Translation. I'm reloading. Cover me. I'm reloading. And more pot shots. So, it looks like you're seeing the good old combo of a uh, crossbow and hand cannon. Yeah, um... I wonder if there's going to be um, enough cash available for these guys because three deaths, man. It's yeah. Did, did you know if any weapons were dropped? I didn't quite notice what weapons are dropped, sadly. Yeah. And I don't think they have the time to go back to that spot. No, it doesn't look like it. It's too risky in this stage of the game to do that. Yeah. Trader, trader is too far, and uh, you know to get back as well. Thirty seconds. Yeah, not worth it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now, the demo needs his M232 because that's going to be risky if it only has that M79. 
a look. Yeah. Doesn't have it. Money, money, money. But the demo doesn't have the M2 to 2, which means they don't have a lot of ammo. No problem, mate. So they have to be either very accurate or oh, they skip trader time. Yeah. Very risky script, and also one thing to notice, nobody except the one player has uh, armor. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Well, well if, a flash, if a flash bounce hits it, they might get a one hit kill as well. Yeah. Yeah. I remember playing a couple times, got one hit killed by flash pounds many times. Yeah. That was complete... That was ridiculous. Let's just say. Hmm. Very jumpy players, I find them. Yeah. Like to jump. <laughs> they're not holding any place. Looks like they're kiting this round. Yeah. Reloading, well, well, jumping sort of gets you away from uh, a few hot shots, some occasional grabs. The other problem is you don't have really control on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not consistent and uh, aiming doesn't become easier of it. Unless you have an aimbot. Not saying that. I'm not endorsing aimbots, but you know what I mean. The indeed kiting. Yeah. So how much time do you think this will cost him? Well, from previous experience of the teams, I would say, you know, kiting will take at least four or five minutes per round. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec, I'm reloading. And that, of course, increases every round on because, you know, the more zets you get, the long long it's going to take. Well, I think they're only going to do it for this round so they can get back the money they need to buy their weapons again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What well, is however interesting is that they walk the other side. You know, mm -hmm. they used to walk uh, another direction. Uh, hey, they destroyed a clown doll. Hey, 10 minutes bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Add 10 minutes or take off 10 minutes? Uh, maybe next tournament. Yeah, Kill every... is a really fun, um, fun thing to do because, you know, you're walking away from the Zets. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you want to increase that speed, you're shooting them. But it also means they spawn, and they can sometimes spawn ahead, which is yes. probably your kiting. So <laughs> it's it's a funny uh, trade-off. You, you know, yes, you kill, but you will get sets in return on sometimes undesired areas. <laughs> well, it's a risk. Everything has its risk. Just like like risk. Yeah, risk. Let's just say like those free clots there. Lucky that was. None of them were a flesh pound. Yeah, it looks like it might actually take a while this round. It's still still above 150 Zeds. Yeah, so a flesh pound in the distance as well. Yeah. Is there anything you would change on this layout if you would kite? I probably wouldn't change anything because, well, honestly, I haven't played this map much in my own opinion, so I. Mm. But I will probably be a bit more risky and kill a few more Zeds, more Zeds than what they're doing yeah. right now. It'll speed it up, but a much higher risk of getting swamped by a bunch of stuff in front of me. Yeah, the sharp is specifically really used here because uh, you know you got such mm -hmm. a long distance aim. Yeah, they can be used to actually kill a lot of stuff at the back while the support at the front do a little bit more, more spontaneous stuff. It gets mm -hmm. in your face. Yeah. Just watch out for scrakes in your face. And I'm really wondering if these guys are gonna return at wave nine to those boxes. Yeah, that would be pretty impressive. <laughs> but yeah, the demo couldn't do too much when that flesh pound got too close, and they just had to watch another teammate die. Sometimes I like to watch my teammates die. <laughs> Surprisingly, they're pretty chatty. Get the yeah, they probably got a lot of pints. Yep. There's so many Zeds there. <laughs> they have to kill something off to speed it up. They're just, just going yeah. too slow. I think they've been reduced to the pistols. Some of them are using pistols to either conserve ammo or they've been reduced to pistols. With, with this tempo, we're probably going to reach 80 minutes. Yeah, well. this wave. They have to speed it up. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. In my opinion, I think they should have probably restarted back when three of them wiped. 
Ooh, that was a close call this yeah, quick. Yeah, wow. They got... Still got a streak there. Are they just going to keep kiting it, or will they take care of it now? Well, the sharpshooter got a... You know, a 9mm with a hand cannon, and that hmm. can kill quite a few Zs. I'm not sure why they're being oh. so... So conservative with this ammo. Hmm, I wonder as well. You could understand he's saving his crossbow for other squeaks and flash spawns to come, you know, because the demo doesn't have that M32. Mm -hmm. But they still got plenty of ammo to do something here. Eh? Yeah. We're hitting about 13 minutes now. Give me a sec. I'm reloading. Yeah, things aren't looking that great, honestly. Okay, I see they slowly damage that flash spawn. Mm -hmm. you no, know, otherwise he reaches. Yep. I'm reloading. Cover me. That would probably ruin them if that flesh pound rages. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> no. Okay, looks like it's getting awfully close. Okay, they're going for it. Okay. Oh, yep. they got it. Nice. Nice. Alright. Oh, those husks. They're freaking aimbot snipers. Not fair, honestly. Why? Why can they aim so well? Oh. You dodge, but hey, they scored more clown dolls. Ooh. Oh, that chunked a lot of his health. Another Gorefest coming in. I think he goes oh. a little bit unnoticed there. Always the worst is surprise Gorefest. You think, oh, something's hitting me. It's probably just something weak, like, oh, where'd my armor go? It was a gore fast. Well, Yago, who was the only guy with armor, is still full. Yeah. That's a great thing. He doesn't, didn't lose almost anything. That's pretty impressive. But looks like uh, Hebron's running pretty low on ammo. He is a demo after all and didn't quite get to purchase too much. Well, they widowed down about 50. Oh, that bell indicates the 15 minute mark. Yep. And, um. They're really going well, the to. Demo, demo's running almost out of his M79. Only 60% yeah. left. A couple <laughs> shots. Well, 92. It's doable, and, and, but. And the sharp is still quite a bit of ammo. Mm hmm. At least, at least use that M9 millimeter, you know? Because. Yeah, save ammo, use 9mm, take out little stuff. Yeah. You could just score headshots with this uh, capabilities, you know, sharpshooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go, just pop a few. Yep. But honestly, if I were in this situation, I probably would have died long ago. Yeah, we'll do. Uh oh. Yep, a bunch of stuff just right there. Oh, they got an air strike. Okay, they have to take it out or it's gonna rage him and there, they took it out. Nicely done. Oh! Oh, oh and the siren combines, which is a ho horrible combo. Yeah. Okay, they have to lose him, otherwise you're oh, okay, no. going for okay. it. Oh, no. Okay, a few go. Oh! Oh! Okay, oh. They, they got it. Whoa. Wow, they were so close. My goodness, Kyle's almost dead. But, they're recovering from that. Yeah, we're almost reaching the 70 minutes here. <laughs> yeah. So, talking to me about... I think it's going to take 8 minutes for this wave. So, I think they'll probably get this game done if they can replenish everything. Probably around the 30 minute mark. Yeah, I... I'm quite uh, questioning if they even get armor next wave. I don't think they have the money for it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You know, the M they, they have to give that M32 to the demo. Mm -hmm. you know, the port can fill the weapons, sharpshooter guts, most of the layout, so... Yeah, wow. But yeah, I don't think there's also maybe not enough cash for a pipe or something. Well, It's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be uh, watch the pennies in the pocket. <laughs> 
Go watch your money. Surprisingly, I haven't seen any uh, teams uh, skip any waves yet or trader traders yet. Hmm. Yeah, we don't see that too often because um, yeah, in the older setups, you know, we used to have sometimes six players, mm -hmm. so you had a lot more ammo comparing to the sets you have. Now we did have also four player tournaments. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we also had level six perks, so they did a lot more damage. So they need to use pretty much all their but wow, all their bullets. No problem. I wish I had a translator translate what you're saying. I'm, I'm still pretty impressed that they can type in this situation. But coming down around 30 seds. They can probably just start killing everything right about now. Oh, I think I heard a flesh pound. Oh, I'm just imagining things. Okay, so we're now reaching around 30, 28 sets, which means that there's not a uh, new one spawning anymore. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to, uh, to rock it, guys. Okay. Yeah. Guaranteed that um, we don't get new spawns anymore. So nothing coming up behind you to take out a large chunk of your back and shove it down your throat. Thank goodness for that. Let's see, they got about 2,000 pounds in total amongst them. I wonder how they're going to use yeah. it. And they also get a little bit bonus at the end of the wave for completing this wave. Yep. So it's going to add a little bit to that. Oh. Okay, they have to jump in. This is 8 sets. They have to get under that 20 minutes mark. Yeah. Otherwise, that's going to be a bit of a problem. But this basically means you know we're soon entering wave nine, and then we have wave ten and petty. So all these three waves have to be done flawlessly, less essentially. Than, less than t uh, twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. we got a raging scrape. Didn't hit that right. There we go. Already got it. Uh oh. He's got no ammo. Okay, two, three shots. Okay, there's still a husk behind it as well. Oh, there goes the husk. Oh, that bell indicates 20 mad mark. Okay, don't get it while it just jump, jumps down the ramp. <laughs> I wonder if he... Hmm, why are they waiting? One of the misconceptions sometimes is that um, whatever trader's time you skip, if you spend time like this, like you know, half a minute luring him to the trader, yeah, then it's not really worth it in the end. You're just playing, um, you know, equal with playing a lot of skipping a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's actually I think run off crossbow ammo. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So we got 4k roughly here in the team. Okay, we see the shotgun. ESG, ammo shotgun being sold. HRG hunting shotgun. Spot. Aren't they communicating through TeamSpeak? Because they're chatting a lot. Hmm. Oh. Alright. I think they, for the next few traders, they're going to need to skip a significant amount of time. I'm not even sure if that will help him catch back up. Gotta be interesting. I I'm wondering where they go now. Can you pick the old spot again? Looks like they're going back to the old spot again. Okay. Have to give them a little bit credit for that uh, pulling that off. That's quite a. Because you know that <laughs> they... everybody has problems with it, but you know if you fail once, it's. Um... You let something get too close, the demo is pretty much useless, and then like, oh no. Yeah, and there's our flash right there. Wipe hunts. Well, the want... demo seemed to be cornered in that. Um... Oh, oh, that grenade! Oh, that siren. siren took it out, but they managed to kill the flash pound anyways. Oh. I always hate it when that happens. <laughs> well, someone's mad at the siren. Oh, two strikes. Oh, one got reached. Oh, oh that didn't. Oh, 
Okay, killed the one coming in. Oh, it's getting All right. too busy here. Yeah, there's too much going on. The other side's getting swamped too. Yeah, this is this is testing their Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hebron's gone. There goes the demo. That means these guys have to take care of Flash Bounce alone. Yeah. Oh, this is, I think this is a restart. Yeah. And now they're resul resulting in insulting each other. That's uh, that's some team dynamic. Oh, oh, the sharp's gone now. So that's another. Oh, oh, and the team is wiped. There we go. Sitting at yeah. twenty-eight seconds. <laughs> it's Not a great minutes. spot to hold, but you get sandwiched. So yeah. Easily. Well, and this is why I like the spot of uh, where Ed was holding. Mm -hmm. You know, because you get to oversight what's coming. You yeah, know, you hear it from distances. You can see what's coming. They spawn next to the tents, so you can see what is coming there. And the demo can take out, you know, twenty to fifty percent. Mm -hmm. But actually, hits the stairs. Yeah, I would have said they should have had about uh, free, su free support specialist instead, and get rid of the demo. That way, they can probably dish up more damage, and one character won't be useless when a flesh pan rushes up. So, does it look like they're going back to the same spot? Oh, that was uncalled for, calling someone a wanker. <laughs> well, I think it looks like... Um, I think they're going to the same spot again. Oh. Okay, they're going to the same spot again. Demo well, has no armor. In this tournament, sometimes you have to question uh, if it's a good decision, you know? I mean, you got uh, all your chances now. Yeah. This is the last chance they have, so... I don't, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. You know, sometimes two fairs can lead to the third one, so we have to be careful with, uh, <laughs> with that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we got a flesh pound. A lot of nades there. Oh, oh no, not again. Double siren. Okay, he survived a flesh pound hit. They took out the first flesh pound. There's more sirens there. And a streak as well. Yeah, whoa. Oh, oh streak coming in close. Okay, and sirens getting close. Okay. okay. Oh no, someone died from a siren. Okay, this is game, guys. Uh, we're, we're not calling it till fat lady sings. No, no, they, 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 they still got this. They can, if they can get heal. They're just they're still going. They can, they can do this. They can do this. Oh, so low health, Zordak. Yeah. Oh, Zordak. He, he's got to play so well to hold this. Yeah, wow, dude. They're still holding it. They're still holding it. Incredible. And there's 94 left. I say they have about a 65% chance of surviving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that just changed. They have a 20% chance of surviving now. Oh, no, uh-oh. Okay, uh, I think uh, 2%? Uh, n no, no. Uh, okay. So close. Almost.